Um, I want to start this off by saying, in no way is this a video meant for personal gain or profit. This is more than anything else a video solely for me. It is a tribute to an inspiration and a memento to all who see it that some things in this world have an impact far beyond their conclusion. We should all appreciate the inspirations that are still with us. With that being said, um, uh, if you haven't heard by now, um, I'm assuming you have, uh, but if you if you haven't, then this is a pretty weird place to get it from, but um, Technoblade had passed away, has, I guess. It's um, the turn of the day, so I guess it's yesterday, um, but it was tonight for me, but you, know, you get what I'm saying. Um, basically, um, well, it's kind of out of place for me to say this, I guess, since especially um, with my channel history and all who has been following thus far, I haven't mentioned him a lot. I don't really give a lot of credit to him at all. I don't, I, I, th I think I've, I've mentioned him once in a video and I've alluded to him a couple other times. Um, but I mean, that's just because I, I decided to buy YouTube ads in a very similar way that he once did. And I used a trailer that was very similar to his since it was, you know, I don't know. Point is, um, he's inspired me throughout my entire journey as a YouTuber. And it started at the very beginning. I made my first video on this channel um, hours after seeing a video in specific by Technoblade. Um, I believe it was called, it's called How To YouTube, in which he just... He basically just says, if you want to be a YouTuber, then just stop what you're doing right now and just start. And I just did that. And the thing that was, it's not like I hadn't heard that advice before, because the thing that was different about him is that he did something that I could see myself doing. He, did, he didn't do something impossible. You know, he wasn't, he didn't already have a, sp I mean, he had a talent, <laughs> but he didn't, he didn't, he, his videos weren't, some major blockbuster production they didn't they weren't about you know i don't even know what i'm trying to allude to really but the point was he it wasn't like mark rober saying you should just do youtube you know because if i was if i was inspired by mark rober i'd be being going to college um well i am going to college but that's just a really bad illusion we're moving on now um he the point is he inspired me a lot um because he did something i could see myself doing and i I thought I, well, I'd like to say I was inspired by him since I saw a lot of similarities and you know, the humor, like this dude's just as, just as much humor as I do, like the type of humor is the same. Um, also, I'm sorry if I'm stammering a lot or not making a lot of sense. Uh, this is something I rarely do on the channel and which is it is serious, uh, no cut, no edits, since this is not a video meant to do well on the algorithm okay i'm not going to be adding specific tabs tags here formatting a thumbnail this is just a tribute for myself really since i'd like to think my channel has hit a my channel not just my channel i think the entire community that i wish to be a part of or the entire the entire youtube world has taken a pretty big hit um so yeah, there's not going to be a lot of fancy edits or whatever. Like I said, this video is mostly for me. Um, so anyways, um, I saw a lot, and I saw in his videos a lot of things I could do. So I picked it up immediately. You know, I was talking, commentating. I'm, I think subconsciously, at the time, I'd like to say consciously, I decided to. Uh, uh, you know, I, he was just just after watching his videos and trying to do a video of your own. You can't say that it's not going to be so similar. I mean, that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be that type of YouTuber. I know everything he did, I wanted to do. I wanted to. It's, it's what an inspiration is, you know. It's and you grow out of it. And you mix that with yourself, and you grow into something beautiful. Yada yada yada. I guess I knew that at the time, so. 
after a few Sky Wars commentaries and Bed Wars commentaries where I talk in a monotone, sarcastic voice, which is, I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and admit to copying, you know, I, I, every step of the way was genuine, but I can't help but feel, you know, appreciation if someone compared me to someone who made me want to start this entire journey. Um, and so, you know, later in my career, I guess a few months afterward, I'm sorry, did I just say career? I guess a few months later in my YouTube journey, let's put it, um, I decided to, you know, try to try to do something different. You know, I I kept being, especially after my ad, I got a lot of, you know, Technoblade 2.0, and I didn't like it, even though, even though it's something I always wanted to be compared to, I guess I didn't want to anymore because it's a, I, I wanted to be myself. I want to be a TK Royal 1.0. You know, I, I, I don't know. It was weird. I liked it and I didn't like it at the same time. It was something I always wanted to be, but I knew that, but I knew that chasing an impossible dream like that would, it would just lead down a road of confusion and regret since I could never be what he was. He only, no, there's, the legacy he left behind is, is is just more than than him, more than his content. It's inspiration to be yourself, and I'm glad I tried to chase that. Um, but at the time, I guess you know, I I even put on a persona of just avoiding him in a sense. I I didn't want to talk about him to anyone private and public I didn't really feel comfortable being compared to him um, I, I tried to branch off in content you know just do things that I really wanted to do um, and you know because we're we're all on this earth for one lifetime and Chasing anything else than what we want is a, it's, it's not self-sufficient, you know, it needs to be something that, that brings out yourself and what you do, because trying to be someone else isn't something I never wanted to do, and I hope I'm not given that impression, because there's not much I can do, I mean, yeah monotone voices man you just gotta suck to have them i think at, at the beginning when i first started my channel like a few months afterward i made a video called um when i reach a million subscribers and since i was so motivated to do youtube largely thanks to him i mentioned in the video too not as much as i would but like to at the time but i still did and i, I talk about um you know, it's kind of like a time capsule. That video, like this one, is for me. So there's not any good quality. If, in fact, the quality's worse, okay? Like, my computer was worse. I didn't know how to record sound. I think it was really quiet. So if you do watch the video, I put in this description, by the way, you're going to have to want to turn the sound all the way up on the headphones and all the way up on the computer. And if you might not just be able to hear it. Like, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I was not a good YouTuber at the time, but I think the quality's also bad, but it's whatever. I get the message off eventually. Um, but I made that video because I knew I could reach a million subscribers and I guess if it, if it's a weird sounding video too, I, I always imagined I'd react to it with chat over word because I ask myself questions and make weird comments that don't really make sense in any, um, standalone context with just an uh, audience, you know, I always thought my, I would, my future self would be the middleman to explain the confusion and rambling. But really, the whole video represented something else. It represented my my desire, my motivation to to chase a dream. And a large part of that, without realizing, was well, you know, it all it'd be cool to get a million subscribers. You know, it would also be cool to you know do a video with the person I've always admired in this, 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 this path I'm walking down. I think I mentioned that too in the video, funny enough. 
Um, hey, it would be cool to do a video with Technoblade at that. You know, that's kind of what I was thinking at the time of making it. And I guess that's always, it hasn't really been pretty dominant, but I guess like if, it's just like any other, any other dream or any, any other passion you have. If someone had inspired you to go down that path, you'd always have that, that sense of accomplishment if you got to interact with said person. Um, which makes sense, I guess. And, well, I'm not exactly at a million subscribers, but I'm deciding to unlist it anyways. And I might just public it. I don't, I don't know what happens if you public a video that's been private for a year and a half. I don't know if it, like, will it go to the top of my videos or, like, go at the bottom? Like, how does it work in the subscription feed? I don't know. That's a, whole, that's a problem for whatever. I don't even care. Point is, I'll link it in this uh, description of this video. And, um, and yeah, because it's not about being a million subscribers anymore. Because I'm not at a million subscribers, like I was saying. Uh, that, that goal is irrelevant. I don't, I don't really care about numbers. I don't, it, it doesn't matter if I'm at a million or a thousand or a hundred or one. I just want to be myself. I want to do what I like. And that's making videos that aren't exactly the most YouTube friendly, but you know what? I'm, I'm having fun. Um, and that's what that video represents. And now, after the passing of an of an influence on countless others just like me, because um, what we used to be, you know, uh, this video is motivation to reach a million subscribers. Well, now I see it more as motivation to be myself and to never stop just moving, never stop chasing a dream, never stop being happy, I guess, because everything that Technoblade left behind was an inspiration to that. And since that video was more or less just being inspired by Technoblade.mp4, I think now that that video represents that more than it does a million subscribers in a bunch of ways. So yeah, um, you can watch the video if you'd like. Um, prepare for some cringe, some some really bad audio quality. They will, I, you'll, I remember it's really quiet. I had a problem with that back then. Um, yeah, bad quality, of course. It's not exactly meant for. It's not really meant. It is. It's not meant. Like I said at the beginning, it's not meant for views or anything and profit. This is just a memento. To myself, um, it's a it's a tribute to to something great that recently passed. So yeah, um, I'll link that video in the description, and I'll also link. Um, I don't I don't really know off the top of my head, but whatever links that seem appropriate. For the time being, I, I really haven't put any thought into this video. Like, this is all just me rambling off the top of my head. Um, so, yeah. See you guys.